This PowerPoint will help you set up your computer with Garmin Connect. Once this is done, your workouts will wirelessly upload from your watch when you plug in the AMP Plus USB. The computer setup will be performed in two parts. The first part is to create your Garmin account. First, go to connect.garmin.com and click on Getting Started with Garmin Connect and then on Create Your Free Account. On the form, enter your first and last name, enter your email address, then use your email address as your username. You'll want to use Get Healthy You as your password, G-E-T-H-E-A-L-T-H-Y-O-U. This is our web address, so it should be easy to remember. And then confirm the password. It's important to use your email address as your username and Get Healthy You as your password so we can access your workouts. Finally, agree to the terms and conditions and click continue. This will take you uh, to the second part of the setup process which is choosing your Garmin device. Do not put the USB ant stick in until directed to do so. First, you will need to choose your Garmin device. So under running slash multisport, scroll down and click on FR70. Next, you will come to the Upload Your Activities to Garmin Connect page. Make sure you've already gotten your resting heart rate because there needs to be data on the watch to upload. Now you will click on either Download for Windows or Download for Mac depending on the type of computer you're using. Once the file has downloaded, click on it to open it. When it asks, do you want to run this file, click Run. Go through the Garmin Ant Agent setup and click Next. Accept the terms and conditions and at the end click Exit. Now you will pair the device with the Garmin Ant Agent. This is the time to insert the Ant Plus USB into your computer. Once you've plugged it in, click on View Instructions for Windows or Mac. Let's look at the instructions for Windows as an example. So now we're going to pair your device with the Ant Agent. So first, after installing the Ant Agent and inserting the USB stick, the Ant Agent automatically begins searching for your device. To view the Ant Agent status window and see its process, right click on the Ant Agent icon in your system tray and select Open Garment Ant Agent. If you don't see the Ant Agent icon in your system tray on the lower left part of your computer screen, click on the Windows icon and find it in your programs. Next, you will need to bring your Garmin device within one meter of the USB Ant Stick. Then, if the Garmin Ant Agent is not already paired with your device, a pop-up window will display and ask you if you want to pair, and you select Yes. If your device is not detected within three minutes, you will want to refer to the troubleshooting tips on our written instructions. Next, your watch will beep and ask if you want to pair. So scroll to Yes on the watch and then press enter. Now you will have to authorize the Ant Agent to send your activities to Garmin Connect. So put in your username and password. Once you've done this, you won't have to enter that again for the watch to pair. You will then see a taskbar a balloon asking if you want to view the data. You can either click on it or wait until later to go to Garmin Connect and view your uploaded data. You will want to check your activities on um, Garmin Connect. 
to make sure they uploaded correctly. Click on the activity link to go to the page to see your heart rate chart. If you don't have Flash installed on your computer, you won't be able to see the heart rate chart, but we will be able to see it. You'll also want to make sure that you have the correct time on Garmin Connect. So go to Settings in the upper right hand under your username. And when you see Display Preferences, you will go to the correct um, time zone and select it. You'll get a green check when you have successfully updated your time zone. If you have problems pairing your device, again, here are the troubleshooting tips that will help you get it paired. You are now set up. Congratulations. If you need help with Garmin technical support, here's their toll-free number and the hours that they're open. Let's get moving.